welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Meal Prep Monday. I have such an exciting meal prep coming out for you guys. I have breakfast, lunch, and a snack, all clean eating. All of the food is so good. I can't believe how good and fulfilling and nourishing this food is. It just makes you feel really, really good about what you're eating and knowing that you can stay within your smart points and eat whole clean food is so incredibly exciting. And I'm loving sharing this part of my journey with you guys. And you guys are loving these clean eating recipes as well. So I will definitely keep them coming. So this week I have, again, a breakfast, a lunch, and a snack. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's My WW Clean Eating Meal Prep. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. For breakfast this week, I'm going to be making a sausage and pepper egg bake. I'm just going to pair this with a fruit and maybe a slice of toast, just depending on if I'm eating breakfast at home or not. So let me show you what's in this week's breakfast. First, you're going to need some ground turkey. This is the 93.7 from Jenny O. I have this in my freezer. That's the only reason it's not an organic. I'd rather have that, but I'm gonna use what I have on hand and not waste anything. So I'm gonna be using this Jenny O ground turkey. A couple types of cheeses here. I'm gonna use up the last of my light shredded cheese from Trader Joe's. I probably will not be repurchasing this, because I really like this organic shredded mozzarella from Walmart. And this is the same exact point as the shredded. And it's not a light cheese. It's a full, fat, delicious mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to be adding that as well. So I'm going to do a mixture of those two cheeses. You'll also need a can of green chilies. I'm adding a red pepper to mine just for a little bit of extra something so this is a big beautiful organic red pepper you're also going to need eggs and tons and tons of seasonings so i have red chili pepper ground cumin chili powder minced onion thyme garlic powder sage and salt and pepper now i did omit the jalapeno because i don't like spicy and also the marjoram because i don't have that on hand so let's get started on breakfast so the very first thing we need to do is quickly chop up our red pepper. So I'm just going to chop it up, throw it in this bowl here, and then we'll start mixing together the meat. Like a diamond, you alone. You cut my heart like glass, just like that. All right, so let's get started here. I've got my one pound of turkey breast here in a bowl. I am going to add my red peppers that I cut up because I want those to cook down and soften with the turkey when I'm actually cooking the turkey as well. Oh, I got a little piece of the stem. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna add quite a bit of seasoning. So uh, since I'm using minced onion, I'm gonna add that as well so that it can get mixed in really well with the sausage. If you are going to use fresh onion, we'll be you'll be cooking that down after you make the sausage. I'm also going to add some red chili pepper flakes. I'm not a big fan of spicy, so I'm not going to put very much in there. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of thyme, and I just kind of use my hand to gauge it. And then I'm also going to add in some sage. And again, I'm going to do about a tablespoon of the sage. And then lastly is some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to put in just a little handful of each of those. And then I'm gonna stir this all together and we're gonna get a skillet going here and we're gonna cook this down. And this is the sausage portion of our breakfast. So we're ready to cook our sausage. So I have some nonstick cooking spray here. I love the avocado oil one. Best deal for this is at Costco. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then here is my sausage mix. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and add that directly to my pan here. And we're just gonna let this cook until the sausage is browned and the peppers are nice and soft. Once your turkey sausage is cooked down really, really well, my peppers are pretty soft as well. I'm going to add in my can of diced green chilies. You would, if you were using raw onion, you would remove your sausage and add your onion to the nice clean pan. But since I am doing minced onion, I am 
making it a little easier on myself and just adding everything directly here to my turkey sausage. And then we're ready to get this into our baking dish. So I went ahead and sprayed my nine by 13 pan again with my avocado oil spray. And then I have that turkey sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and add that directly into the bottom of my baking dish. And we're kind of gonna layer this. It's going to be a layered egg bake with the sausage. So it smells amazing. It's funny by adding those spices, this smells like I bought turkey sausage, you know, actual like breakfast sausage. So that's really cool that you can get that same effect and make it yourself with some spices and much cleaner ingredients that way when you're adding everything yourself. So there is our sausage and now we're gonna layer this with some cheese. So once you've added your turkey sausage to the bottom of your baking dish, we're gonna go ahead and add half of our cheese and again i have a mix of the trader joe's light and the organic mozzarella from walmart so i'm going to do about half or so of the cheese here in the middle and then we're going to put the rest of it right on top when we go to bake our casserole so there is the cheese and then next we're just going to whisk up some eggs so you're going to need 10 eggs and what we're going to do is just go ahead and crack our eggs and put them here into a bowl and we're going to add some seasoning to that whisk it up and that's going to actually get poured over the top of the cheese and the sausage all right so i've got my 10 eggs cracked in a bowl here i'm going to add some seasonings first just a little bit of chili powder i'm also going to add some cumin and some garlic powder and then lastly just another pinch of salt pepper I've got a whisk here and I'm going to give this a whisk and get these eggs mixed up really well with those seasonings and then we're going to pour these on top of the sausage and cheese you alone you cut my heart like glass just like that like the lion uncontrolled your mark is on my back Just like that Once you add the egg, we're gonna put the last bit of cheese right over the top. And this is going to go into a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until your eggs are set. So you don't wanna see any more liquid in your baking dish. That's how you know that your eggs are cooked all the way through. So we're gonna to toss this in the oven and I'll be back to show you our completed breakfast. So our sausage pepper egg bake is out of the oven. You guys, this looks amazing. It smells so good in my house. I just ate breakfast and this smells so good. So I'm going to let this rest for just a couple of minutes and then I'm going to cut it up, get it into my meal prep container, and I'll be back to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast and give you the smart points. So here are my breakfast for the week. I went ahead and cut my eggs, bake into six servings. So I have an extra serving for my husband. You guys, this looks so good. I'm so excited. So this is one serving of the sausage and pepper egg bake. It is three smart points on both blue and purple and eight smart points on green. The reason it jumps so high for green is because of all of the eggs. There's actually 10 eggs in here. And for blue and purple, we're only counting the turkey as well as the little bit of cheese that is in here. So that is why it's lower points for blue and purple. And then also I went ahead and cut up my papaya that I hauled in my grocery haul on Saturday. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely check that video out. It was a super good haul. I found some good new things, taste tested some vegan cookie dough. So definitely check that out. But this is going to be my breakfast and I am on the blue plan. So this is three smart points for me for breakfast, which is absolutely amazing. For my lunches this week, I'm going to be making an avocado chicken salad. I'm going to serve that open face on a slice of Ezekiel bread or sprouted whole grain bread that I'm going to toast. I'm so excited for this recipe. And actually this recipe is out of this cookbook. This is the True Roots cookbook from Kristen Cavalieri. You guys, highly 
recommend this cookbook. It has amazing recipes with ingredients you can pronounce, no fancy schmancy things. It really truly is a fabulous cookbook. Highly recommend. I'll link it down below for you guys. It has over a hundred good quality, clean eating whole food recipes. Everything from breakfast through dinner, dessert, snacks, homemade mayo, homemade dressing. I mean, really, it's an amazing cookbook. So again, I'll link it down in the description box for you guys. So for our chicken salad, you'll need some garlic, mayonnaise of your choice. I'm gonna be using this Chosen Foods avocado mayo, salt and pepper, and I have, oh, I flipped them over, sorry, a couple of organic chicken breasts, a red onion, avocado, fresh baby dill, some celery hearts, and of course some black peppercorns. And then this is the bread that I'm going to serve it on. This is the Trader Joe's sourdough bread. This is just their version of a sprouted bread. It is two smart points per slice. It's delicious. I love, love, love it. And I just keep it in the freezer and pop out a slice when I'm ready to have my lunch. So let's get started on this avocado chicken salad. So to start on our chicken salad, I've went ahead and added three medium small medium chicken breast to the bottom of a big stock pot and then i'm actually going to add five cups of water because essentially we are going to boil our chicken you could also cook this in an instant pot if that's easier for you but i'm just going to do it per the recipe and then in my little bowl here i have one quarter of a chopped red onion some minced garlic and at the very bottom i have some fresh chopped dill so I'm gonna go ahead and add all of that, as well as about one teaspoon of the peppercorns. And then we're going to bring this to a boil and let the chicken cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it is cooked completely through. Once the chicken starts to boil, you guys, doesn't this look beautiful and so good? We are gonna go ahead and just pop a lid on and we're gonna let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes. While our chicken is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and just put together the mayonnaise base for our chicken salad. And then I'm just going to cover it with some saran wrap and put it into the fridge until the chicken is done. But what I went ahead and did is just chopped up a little bit more of the fresh dill and added that here to my bowl. I also chopped up three stalks of the organic celery that I bought from Trader Joe's. To that, we're going to add one third cup of mayo. Again, I'm using the Chosen Foods avocado mayo. Now, if you wanna lower the points of the overall recipe, you could use a light mayonnaise, but I'm just not really eating that anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the full fat Chosen Foods. And then I'm also going to add one avocado. I did mash it the best that I could. Unfortunately, it wasn't as ripe as I was hoping that it would be when I got to make this recipe. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to mush. And then I'm going to go ahead and add just a pretty good amount of pepper and then just the littlest pinch of salt. And then we're going to mix this together, get it nice and combined. Make sure you get your avocado as mashed up as you can. That is going to serve as some of the moisture in the chicken. So I'm going to throw this in the fridge and maybe by the time it sits in the mayo a little bit, it'll be a little bit softer. So that's basically what it looks like and I'll be back when the chicken is done. Alrighty, the chicken is done. I just went ahead and pulled it off of the stove and I wanted to show you guys kind of a hack when it comes to shredding chicken. Use your hand mixer. It works so good. You just kind of got to be careful starting it and really kind of take it easy on your mi mixer and kind of get your chicken started to get shredded up and then you can pump up the volume here on your mixer and it'll just shred your chicken perfectly it's so fast and easy so look just after a couple of minutes look how great my chicken is so i'm gonna go ahead and get this shredded and then we'll be ready to put together this chicken salad once your chicken is shredded look at how amazing and quick that was to shred that i went ahead and pulled out the mayo avocado deliciousness that we put together i'm going to add that here to my chicken and then i'm going to grab a fork and i'm just going to really get this mixed in really well with the chicken so i'm just going to take my fork and just mix this together until everything is combined oh my gosh this looks so delicious and again i'm going to serve this open faced on a slice of that sprouted trader joe's bread you can use any bread that you want of course but i'm just going to toast it and then i'm going to put a little bit of this delicious chicken avocado mixture and then i'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and pepper and voila you guys what a fantastic lunch full of 
of good healthy fat between the avocado oil mayo and the actual avocados themselves. So there is the avocado chicken salad. I'll get this put into the meal prep container and then I'll be back to show you my entire lunch and give you the smart points. Here is the chicken avocado salad. It filled this entire meal prep bowl and this only makes four servings. So you're going to get a lot of the chicken salad for a serving. And then again, I'm going to top one slice of the sprouted sourdough bread. I'll go ahead and toast it up and then top it with some of the chicken avocado salad. And then whatever is left that maybe doesn't fit on my slice of bread, I'll just eat it on the side. But this is going to be a fantastic lunch. And then I think I'm simply going to pair it with a dill pickle. I think that that would add a really nice crunch and saltiness to my lunch. So for the chicken salad, it is six smart points, so that makes four servings, so that's a lot. Six points using full fat mayo on blue and purple, and eight points using full fat mayo on green. I will put down in the description box what the points are with a light or reduced fat mayonnaise, if that's the route that you wanna take. I'll go ahead and figure those points out for you. But I have the full fat, so it's six for the chicken avocado salad, two for a slice of the sourdough bread, zero for the pickle. So this is going to be an eight smart point lunch. For a clean eating snack this week, I'm going to be making a peanut butter and honey oat bar. So essentially I am making a homemade granola bar with real whole food. I'm so excited for this. It sounds absolutely amazing. So let me show you what is in our peanut butter honey oat bars. First, you're going to need some rolled oats. And I know I've talked about it before, but rolled oats, if possible, buy those organic because they're sprayed with glycosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. So oats are heavily, heavily sprayed. So if you buy organic, you're alleviating having those Roundup chemicals on your oats. And honestly, they're not much more than regular oats, especially if you buy them here at the Thrive Market. I will have a link down below for you guys for Thrive. If you click my link, you can get 20 $20 worth of free product, whatever you want, by signing up for a membership with Thrive. It is so inexpensive, about $5 a month with a year membership. You get free shipping and a free gift with every order. I got a whole bag of these delicious sprouted tortilla chips with my last order, and you actually get to pick your free gift and you'll get the $20 of free product. Highly recommend. You're going to be seeing a lot of Thrive products on my channel so it'd be great if you were a member as well so you can duplicate a lot of my recipes so i'm going to be using the thrive organic rolled oats you'll also need some coconut oil with coconut oil organic and triple filtered are your best option and trader joe's has a great price on that a peanut butter or mixed nut butter of your choice raw honey i love the trader joe's organic raw honey it's amazing and then i also picked up the sliced honey roasted almonds from trader joe's so you need some sort of honey roasted nut and lastly you'll need some vanilla and some ground cinnamon so let's get started on these delicious granola bars so the first step for our peanut butter and honey oat bars is i went ahead and added one half of a cup of raw honey one tablespoon of coconut oil and one third cup of mixed nut butter here to my bowl i'm going to throw this in the microwave for about 30 seconds just until it gets nice and runny and the peanut butter is melted in all right, once you pull that out of the microwave, look, everything is nice and melted. All the peanut butter, everything's combined really well. We're gonna go ahead and add in about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're also going to add in a little bit of cinnamon, about a quarter of a teaspoon, or really to your liking. Um, I'm gonna do about a quarter of a teaspoon. I don't want them to be too cinnamony, just to add that nice little extra bit of flavor. Go ahead and give that another quick stir to get the cinnamon and the vanilla extract combined. And now we're ready to add in our two cups of oats and one half of a cup of honey roasted almonds. And then we're going to stir this. We wanna make sure that the almonds and the oats are completely coated entirely with our peanut butter, coconut oil, and honey mixture. All right, we've got everything combined. Look at how good that looks. I mean, seriously, yum. So I have an eight by eight pan here and I have a sheet of parchment paper. So I'm just going to put in the parchment paper and to that, we're going to add all of this oat mixture and I want to tell you guys this smells so good it smells really sweet from the honey but it also smells really nutty because you've got those honey roasted almonds as well as that big third cup of nut butter oh so we're just gonna spread these out evenly 
in the bottom of our eight by eight pan. You just wanna make sure that you've got them nice and even, same thickness. And then these are going to go into an oven for 20 minutes, about a 300 degree oven for 20 minutes or just until they're cooked through, they're nice and solid and hard. And then we will have our granola bars. So I'm gonna get these spread out and into the oven. Yeah, you play games with my mind Always all of the time And in it for the up, and in it for the big win Yeah, you own all of my mind Always all I just pulled the bars out of the oven, so I'm just gonna take my spoon and I'm just going to push. Now that they're nice and soft and cooked pretty good through, you wanna look for this brown kind of edge that you see right there. I'm going to press them to make sure that the oats are nicely mixed together and nice and hardened with the rest of the ingredients. And then I'm going to let these cool at room temperature until the bars have hardened. And then I'll be back. We'll cut them up and I'll give you the smart points. So here are our peanut butter honey oat bars. You guys, these look so good. So I went ahead and just cut them into 16 servings. Oh my gosh, I just had a little piece. They are amazing. Oh, they're so good. So this is the size of them. You go ahead and cut your eight by eight pan into 16 servings. So not a bad serving size. And you have to remember that this is chock full of really good for you ingredients, honey and peanut butter and oats and coconut oil and all the really good things that are a little bit higher in smart points, but are healthy fats that you should be introducing into your diet. So for one of the bars, so 1 16th of the pan, it is five smart points on both blue and green and four smart points on the purple plan. So I wanna kinda give you guys a close up, but these are so good, they're like ooey, gooey, oh my gosh, they're delicious. So highly recommend adding this recipe to one that you wanna make for a snack because good whole food and four or five smart points is not bad. So here are my snacks for the upcoming week along with these granola bars. Again, I don't eat all of these every single day, but I like to have some different options on hand for the week. So I have these Simple Mills Farmhouse Cheddar Crackers. These are six individual snack packs, so that makes it really easy. They're already pre-portioned out for you. These have really, really, really good ingredients and they are four smart points per little package. So I thought that I would have one of those along with a cheese stick and I'll show you guys the cheese stick but these simple mills packs I bought these off of thrive as well so again if you are not a member of thrive use the link down below for $20 of your choice in free product this is a game changer I love that they're pre-portioned I can take them with me to jazzercise I can leave them in my car and have them as a snack and again they have really really good ingredients and then I plan on having them with just one of my or Horizon Organic Cheese Sticks. These cheese sticks are so good, you guys. They are two smart points per stick, so they're one extra point from the light ones, and they taste so much better because it's real yummy, delicious, full fat for mozzarella cheese. Love, love, love them. I have not tried the Walmart ones yet, but I really like these. And again, those are two smart points. And then of course I have a built bar. I generally do have a built bar every day, especially on the days that I go to Jazzercise because it's a really quick, easy snack for after class or even before if I'm super hungry. This is the peanut butter built bar. This one is actually four points. All of the nut based bars are four points with the exception of the coconut almond. So your toffee almond, your peanut butter, those are all going to cost you four points. All of the other rest of the built Bars are three points. But for ingredients, this is one of the best protein bars. And this is by far the lowest smart point good ingredient protein bar that I've been able to find. Trust me, I've been looking. I'm actually going to be doing a video on protein bars and protein shakes. So highly recommend the built Bar. 170 calories look at this protein 20 grams seven grams of fiber three sugar and seven fat so between the 20 grams of protein the seven fiber and the seven fat this bar is going to keep you full in for four points you guys you can't beat it you cannot beat it my code here on the screen gets you 10 percent off at built bar and free shipping keep my code because you can use it over and over again it does not expire so again four points if i decide to have a non nut based one it'll be three two points for the cheese sticks four points for the crackers 
and these are my snacks for the upcoming week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly meal prep. Again, I follow a clean approach to the MyWW program and I am on the blue plan, but I do list the points in all of my videos and recipes for all plans. The recipes are all down in the description box, as well as the links and discount codes to my very favorite things and the Thrive Market. You guys have to go join and become a member of the Thrive Market. I can't believe I waited this long to join. I am loving it. In fact, I just just got another order in and you'll be seeing that haul in an upcoming video. I seriously, you guys, it is the best price and they have anything and everything. You don't have to go to 12 stores to get all your good clean eating food. So I am obsessed with the Thrive Market. So make sure you check all of that out down in the description box. Also is the link to my Facebook group. So scroll to the very bottom of the description and you'll see the link. Go ahead and click the link. Come on over and join us. We'd love to have you be part of our amazing community. It is loving, supportive. You can ask questions, lots of great ideas, tips and tricks. Great, great place to be. If you're new, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure you're subscribed and your little bell notification is turned on so you're not missing a single video. And welcome to our community. Again, we are such a fun place to be with lots of great, wonderful, amazing people. Also, make sure you thumbs up this video if you love meal preps. And of course, comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna give these recipes a try. Happy Monday, let's have a great week, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.